Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. for you guys a drugstore holiday makeup tutorial and as I was pulling out makeup for this I realized I only have two true drugstore products so products that you could go to Walmart or Target and pick up and I only have I mean eyeshadow palettes I don't know why I said products I only have two drugstore eyeshadow palettes and one of those is the Profusion Sienna's palette and then the other is the Milani Bold Obsessions palette, which they're actually kind of similar. This one has just a couple more smoky shades than, let me open this. Then the Profusion Sienna's one, they both run about the same. This one's at $10, this one's gonna run you closer to $12 to $15. So I really wanna try to only use one palette. So, so I guess that I will be going in to my Profusion palette. Now you guys know I always love to go in and moisturize my face first, moisturize it, prime my face first. And so I'm going to go take my little Ulta Beauty hydrating primer and we're just gonna apply this to our face all over. Oh, I got a pimple right here here coming in next to one that just I just popped the other day I still don't know what's going on with my skin it is clearing up but I feel like for every like five pimples I'm get rid of like another one pops up so good thing is I'm having less breakouts but I'm still breaking out okay the next thing I'm gonna take is sorry guys my stomach's a little woozy Next thing I'm going to take is my Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer and we're just going to go ahead. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water and just spray my face with this. You guys can probably hear the AC unit right now because it's really hot with the way that I had to do my lighting today. I have the sun like hitting directly on me and it's pretty hot so I have to turn the AC on and the little unit thing is right outside our bedroom window. Okay so one thing I picked up recently are these e.l.f. eye tapes and well these are called line and defining eye tape and I always see Juicy Jazz use these so I finally went ahead and picked them up. So I am going to take one and cut them in half that's what she does and it only makes sense to me like I mean no but you don't need that much for the outside of your eye so I'm going to cut it right to where the L is how she cuts these I don't know maybe I was supposed to cut it when it was still on the paper yeah I think I was supposed to cut that while it was still on the paper anyways we're gonna go ahead and apply these okay so now that I applied those I almost forget almost forgot to go in with my brows. And so the next thing that I'm going to take is this LA Girl um, slim, Shady Slim, right? Yeah, Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And I have this one in the shade Blackest Brown. How do I always end up with the shade Blackest Brown? I could have swore I grabbed Brunette. Whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and just go in and shape, ooh, shape and fill in our lashes. Somehow I always end up doing my brows. Even though I tell myself not to do them, I always end up doing them. So anyways, brows are done. I did what I could. That's why they're really red. Um, went in a little hard. So yeah, let's go ahead and prime our lids now. And I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl, CoverGirl, the, <laughs> the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I have mine in the shade Golden Natural. And 
now I'm going, ooh. Now I'm going to take my Sienna's palette and I'm gonna take the shade Polite and I'm just gonna set all of that down. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the shade Fearless and I'm just gonna buff that into my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Tickled and I'm just gonna go in with that on my finger and put that on my eyelid. Okay, so that's it. I really kind of want to keep this simple and classic because the lip, I keep blinding myself with this mirror because the lip that we're gonna go in with is going to be very bold and blah, blah, boomish. And so I'm actually looking like in here and I feel like my crease is kind of intense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Oasis and I'm gonna kind of tone that down. Gonna go back in with that shade Polite and just apply it to my brow bone. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go in with my Rimmel London Black Gel Liner and this is just in the shade Black and it just looks like this. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics number 12 brush and then we're just gonna go ahead and line our eye. don't like this brush. I'm having the hardest time getting that to be smooth with that brush. Okay, now the true test. Taking off these little tapes and seeing how bad this liner really is. Oh. Well, this point actually came out better then this point, so. This side actually <laughs> coming out better than this side. Let me try to find some wipes really fast and clean that up. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is, is my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Salon Perfect 614s. You can find Salon Perfect eyelashes at Wally World. Okay, so a the foundation that I love to take when I'm doing like a more glam look is always going, to, for, for now, it's going to be the Believe Beauty Foundation. And I have mine in this shade Warm Vanilla. You can find this at Dollar General or on their website. And now, now the sun's getting weird, it's right here. Definitely needed to shave the peach fuzz off of my face. Okay, and then I'm going to take just a tad bit more in the areas where I need just a tiny bit more coverage. That pimple hurts right here. Okay, going back in with the CoverGirl concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead and start concealing underneath my eyes with this. My skin is looking terrible and textured and I don't know why. Now I can look in this mirror because I'm not being blinded by the sun. I don't know why my face looks so terrible today. Going in with my Believe Beauty Setting Powder, and I have mine in the shade Light Medium. I'm 
going to take my little concealer brush and see if I can't get up in those creases just to kind of smooth those out. But I think that's the best that I can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my Sienna's palette. I'm going to go back in with the shade Oasis and start um, blending that on my lower lashes. Okay, I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number 10 brush and I'm going to go back into go back into the shade um, Fearless and be a little bit more precise with that. They're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and apply that to our lower lashes. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Bronzer. Also hit and pan on that. And we're gonna go ahead and start bronzing up our face. I never do this, but what I'm actually going to do. Ugh. You guys take any white powder you lighter powder you have. The only lighter one that I have that's not stark white is my Becca one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. Okay, so we're just gonna clean that up just a little bit, give our face some more definition. So we're gonna let that bake for just a minute. I can feel it tightening here with my dry skin. That's why I don't ever bake. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with my Essence Satin Touch, oh, my Essence Satin Touch blush in the shade Satin Coral. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and go in with is highlight, and I'm taking my Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. I'm gonna take this top shade right here and just highlight the cheekbones with that. Now I'm going to take a brush and just brush that off. Look, I can't really see what this side looks like because of this stupid sun. I hate the sun. Like this side looks great and this side looks stupid. That's how I feel. Skin feels really tight today and dry. Lips is the last step. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with my Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Ready for Red. I'm going to be taking my Milani liquid lipstick in the shade Striking. <sighs> Love this liquid lipstick. Love this liquid lipstick. Love the formula, pigmentation. Love it. So the next step is to go ahead and set our face. I running really really low on my rose one so i'm gonna go in with my cucumber one and i'm just going to spray my face okay so first what we're gonna do is shake up our elf glow dewy mist and we're gonna just spray the butt of our sponge spray our face now what i've learned to do is just kind of dab this on the back of your hand first and then go over where you want the most dewiness and then take it on the rest of your face. I like for a lot of the dew to be on my cheeks. I mean, that's just me. You do what's best for you. Okay guys, so this is it for today's makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about the weird lighting, it going in and out. I'm just... I don't have a lot of space. I'm a right by a window and with the lighting that I have, it's really hard to mimic that on the other side of my face. So I'm doing my best. Um, 
but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how much more classic holiday you could get than this. And like I said, I really love this lipstick because it's going to stay in place and it gives you almost more of like a powdery feeling, not like a tight feeling. Like it feels like you put powder on your lips, if that makes sense. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do and you would like to see more, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stick around, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.